Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here with another Reimagining Scraps uh, video and this one is all about using up book pages. I have you off the stand right now because um, I wanted to first show you my big bin. So close your eyes if this will make you seasick, but I'm gonna go up here. Can you see that giant bin on the right is all of my book pages and it's stacked even to the top. Um, on the left are my eco dyed papers, but I just have a ton of book pages and I use them as fast as I can, but I'm going to try to use them faster this year. So, um, okay, I'm going to get you into the stand here, hopefully. I was silly and put lotion on my hands before doing this. Oh, there, I gotcha. I did it without dropping you. That was that was not smart, but I'll tell you what, it's dry in Montana. So um, first I wanted to say hi and hugs to everyone who has entered my 15,000 subby giveaway. Holy cow, there's a lot of comments and it's awesome. So thank you so much for your kind comments. And I'm just, I'm just so pleased to, to be part of this community and, and be all of your friends and your crafting buddy. So thanks so much for, for everything. And, um, I'm excited. I'm excited for this week to go so that we can choose a winner. Okay. On to the book page, um, old book pages. You know, with all the covers that we use and all of that, we end up with so many book pages. And um, I have been working on getting getting some made into ephemera. And um, we're just going to talk about that today. Because I have a lot of inspiration from a lot of people. Uh, and I'll try and acknowledge them as I do something that is, is their idea. Some, I have no idea where they come from, but um, these are some pieces that I have done and you can see they're all inked and everything because usually I ink things. Um, the only time I don't really is with the little golden book journals. So um, these are a bunch of the pockets and things. I've done videos on these before, but I thought it might be nice to have kind of consolidate and have a lot of different ideas in, uh, for book pages in one video. So off we go. Um, I may refer back to that. So I'm going to just set those here. I have in my idea journal, let me show you this. Oops. As, as half the ideas fall out of the back when I pick it up. Um, I have a lot of these ideas in, in my little idea book. And I know um, I, I did a video on this when I very first started it. And it was just because I watched so many videos and would get all these great ideas or had ideas myself that I wanted to keep track of. And so, I mean, there's some things like, um, like this particular idea. I probably need to do another video on it. It's been like forever. So, and I know that... Um, you know, my, I have, I don't know, I don't even know how many videos, like 600 and some probably. And so the videos get buried in. And sometimes when you all ask me, what video did you show this in? I can't even find it. So, so I think sometimes it bears repeating is what I'm, what I'm saying about that. But anyway, just some, um, I have just ideas in this, little in this little journal and so I can go back to it here and there but we're just gonna we're gonna talk to, about some of my favorites which this one is one of my favorites that's what I wanted to grab was my um I like to use my scrapbooking scissors uh a lot too this may be a two-part video because I want to do a little bit of decorating too because that's that's always fun too so I don't know we'll see we'll see how far we get so we're going to make a few basic things. I'm going to do a separate video on my number 10 envelope ideas because I did that a long, long time ago. And that's one that I think I need to repeat. 
Okay, so I may refer to this as well, all that to say. All right, let's 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 get started. So I'm going to kind of start at the end, <laughs> which is, is what I most recently did. Um, so this idea was, um, I, I don't know that it's original, but um, the latest video that I watched on it was from Rachel at Roxy Creations. And so I'll, I'll um, have, have you go look at hers too. But I just put together some book pages and made some tags. I made six tags that I want to use in the little golden books that I'm working on right now. So, um, so those six tags I would like to decorate today, but... I'll just show you real quick because this is a super quick one and then we can move on. So what I did is I have a lot of Reader's Digest pages, a lot of them. And um, so I've been really trying to use those up. This one I really like because it's yellowed. And when I come across like a picture like that, that's a nice picture. I'll tear that out and I won't use that. But what I did the other night while I was watching TV was I just sat down and I just glued four pages together. I just put the glue where the print is and I'm just using my Uhu stick and, um, and I just go through, glue four pages together. And as you may have quickly seen on those, I sewed around the edges, so I'm not super worried about it. It's just enough to, to kind of just get them together. I used several different books, but I actually used up uh, a Reader's Digest book. I was so excited. It's like, okay, yes, one down. <laughs> one down, many to go. Um, okay, and then, so I have four together here, and then I just tear them out, like so, okay? So, it makes a good thick tag, you know, this has, and especially where the glue is, it's, it makes it a little thicker too. So, it makes a nice tag, it's not super floppy. Okay, so that's what I did there, and then, um, I, if the edge was kind of, goopy with the uh with the binding glue I did go ahead and just slice that off a little bit here am I in camera I better check yes okay okay <laughs> yes I show you my my bins of stuff hopefully to make you feel better about your own stash I I just think as we're working, you know, we just really do, there, I got most of it anyway. Um, we really do create a lot of <laughs> extra stuff. I don't know. So these are about, um, I think they are about five inches. Is that right? If I remember right. Wide. Yeah, they were about five inches. So... I decided I'd cut them into two inch tags, two and a half inch tags, but I don't want my tags much taller than six inches because I, I may have trouble then. I'm gonna do the smooth side up against the guides. And so I just cut that off. And then I went two and a half inches this way. And then I've got the two bigger tags. And then I've got this little guy. And I was just doing it two and a half. And I'll make a tiny tag from it. So here's my here's my little tiny tags yet to be made. Um, okay. And then I just... I just grabbed my little card. Um, I know you can cut them off and then flip your corner and cut it off. But if I'm doing multiples, I find having my little cut credit card type thing works a little bit quicker than trying to flip over that corner and measure it. So that's that's how I did it. So I'll do both of those. 
and then I just, okay, then I just uh, popped it onto the sewing machine. Let's make sure the sewing machine is in your view there. And just did a straight stitch right around, right close to the edge, you know, as as close as as you want it to be. And then when you get to a corner, leave the needle down, turn it. Rachel does a great job of explaining all that in her video too. But I just thought I'd do a couple here and show you. Let's see, I think I want that one more stitch. There we go. Move it up a tiny bit. And I'm gonna turn it and turn it. Okay, and there we go. And then your tag's all ready to decorate. And um, I actually may do this other one too because I wanna make a few for my design team project. It's been so fun, you guys. The comments on the giveaway video, I have no idea what my next journal's gonna be because <laughs> everybody has a different idea of which journal they'd like to, if they win so i'm i'm going to be as excited to hear who wins as you are because i'll be then i'll be knowing which which uh journal and it's been so fun too to hear why you picked the one you did you know if certain things spoke to you or whatever and I should probably make clear because, I don't know, I guess I didn't make it clear enough on the giveaway video because I've had requests for the other journals and and I'll just repeat that I am, am not gonna do custom orders for a while. So I am only making the one journal for the winner and, um, and if I make any others, they'll be on my Etsy. And I will always do a video beforehand and give the time and date for that. But yeah, several, several reasons for that. Husband retired, not as much crafting time. Overuse on my index finger has made me have some issues. And, um, and just wanting to listen to my creativity and do do what I'm feeling like doing which has been awesome for the last two days so anyway back to this so I sat and did a whole bunch of these as you can see I did different this is a really old book and I think it's going to hold together just fine I was a little worried about it um, but anyway so I can make a bunch of tags so I'm excited about that. Just going to sit, cut those and sew them and get a bunch done. So that's the tags. Okay, let's talk, um, let's talk about some different pockets and stuff. So let's do, let's see. First of all, let's do, get it over here so you can see. Okay. These ones that are falling out all the time are going up on my other table because that's going to happen over and over otherwise. Oh my goodness. Okay, so um, let's let's do these little uh, um, 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 banners. Banners. Let's do one of those. Let's see. I uh, think I only used one page. For those and this is a Patricia Veramontes it's V-I-R-A-M-O-N-T-E-S Patricia Veramontes on YouTube so we're gonna um, we're going to make this go in thirds is what we're gonna it's what we're gonna attempt here and I was close but not quite there <laughs> okay so so I've got it folded but then I'm going to go back in and give it some glue stick 
let me let me glue on a page so that I don't get it on my table. I'm gonna have to grab my other ooh. -hoo. This one's just about out. Just about have just about have gone through one. So I'm right to the end. It's gonna probably pop out at any moment. <laughs> okay, and so we've got we've got that glued. So just gluing the page in third. And of course the different sizes of um, book pages you use are gonna make different size embellishments, which is fun too. Like I have this, um, I have this children's book here. Look how different the, the text is than this one. So it's kind of fun to do different things like that. Okay, and so now I want these to be sort of offset. So first of all, I'm gonna cut off the white part. And I'm also gonna cut off the title on this one just because it's Escape from Red China and I don't really want that in my in my book. So, okay, so I am gonna say, I am gonna cut this about, maybe about here, just eyeballing it. And then I'm gonna cut up the middle, I'm gonna say maybe five lines of text and over like so, and over like so. And then this one, the same thing. I think I'm only gonna go about four up though. Uh, this one. That wasn't the best cut. So then, um, and then they'll be offset like this. But first I will ink them and get them distressed up um, before I glue them together. So that's the banner. So that's a use for one book page, right? Okay, so let's thumb through and um, I'll pick another one of my favorites. This is an easy one. It's just a file folder and then the torn book page, I just made it a little bit smaller than the torn, um, the torn file folder. And it makes just a fun little side pocket. So there's that one don't know who to credit that one to. <laughs> um, this is a fun one. Um, this is a coin envelope. I think I can do it fairly quickly. Let's see if I can. Um, well, maybe we'll just do this. Oh, good grief, Gail. Quit wasting time. Okay. So let's take this and again, we're going to, we're just going to kind of overlap it. So um, I'm going to go, let's see, about, looks like about right there for this one and fold it. And then I'm just going to go over a little bit like so. Okay, and then I'm actually going to fold this one up. I should have done that first. So fold this one up and then do it in thirds like that. And then um, over on this side, we're going to do just a little, little half circle punch whatever size you want. This is a, um, I think this is an inch. Doesn't it say somewhere? Maybe it doesn't. Anyways, I think it's about an inch. But if you wanted, you could use a smaller one too. So just whatever. It's just for ease of getting what's inside the pocket in and out. Okay. And so then I would go ahead and ink it before, let's just, maybe I'll grab my ink, we'll just do that real quick so I can actually finish putting this one together on camera. So the main reason I do it before is for this part because, you know, it'll be 
tucked in there and hard to do otherwise. And then, and then I like to also do right here where the, where it shows through. And then maybe we'll zhuzh that a little bit. Hi, Wendy. Happy New Year, my friend. I am going to do the back just because I don't know if it'll be glued down. You can glue it down or you can just attach it with a paper clip like I did in my little book. So whichever. Okay. Missing my glass mat. I can't have my glass mat and my sewing machine all at the same. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> just, oh, just get the fingers all tangled up in the tripod okay and then so then it's just a matter of let's see okay yep just uh gluing a little bit peggy if you see that i'm not using my dangle it's because it um oh how'd i do that i did that wrong but maybe i just maybe i just uh glue this. I don't know. Can't remember the exact way, but if you go see Patricia's, it will show you. But this works. There you go. So then you've got a little, a cute little coin envelope that you can put a little tag or something in here and a little tag or something in there. So there's that one. Um, anyway, my little dangle, the, it isn't as small as a pin, it's bigger, and so it kept bending, and I was just really having trouble with it. I'm, I'm so sorry, Peggy, but I, I, um, ungunked my tip and everything and was still having trouble, so I'm back to a pin for now. You know me, I'm just too busy to stop, I just keep going. <laughs> okay, um super easy one. Let's do this super easy one here. And all it is, let's use one of these kids pages. All this one is, is it's, um, it's torn across the top and then, um, you know, fold it up to whatever depth you want your pocket to be torn on this edge. Oh gosh, my one finger just does not want to work very well. Try it this way. Yeah, that's working better. Okay, so torn on that edge. And then just torn diagonally. Let's go this way. Down to the corner. Just a just to give it a rough little look and then um, and then if you distress the edges it really brings out the tornness <laughs> and so it gives you a double pocket so you can see there's a journaling card up here oops you can't really see a journaling card up here and a little tag in there. So that's a really quick one to use up a book page. And then you're just going to um, just going to glue or so let's sew. When in doubt, so right? Okay. Oh, sorry. Pulled that right to myself. <laughs> like, like you weren't even there. <laughs> Let's just sew that on the edges. I think I'm going to do a uh, um, zigzag just for fun. Makes a smaller pocket, but it gives it a little more personality, I guess, you know. 
And then we'll just do this side real quick. Okay. All right, so there is that one. Let's clip this off a little bit. And I am thinking this is a perfect pocket to use one of these little scrappies that I've been doing obsessively. Yeah, look at that. Just like that. That's why you have a great big bag of these at the ready. Because look at how quickly we made that fun little pocket. So I'm just going to glue this down. You could actually glue this down as a little tuck too if you just did the three sides. I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. But yeah, we glue that down and there you go. We've got a fun little pocket to use in something. So that's a super, super quick, super easy one. Okay, this is an envelope that is a little more involved. I can show you how to make it, but um, it is it is uh, mod podged on on the front to make it even more sturdy. But so it is. Let's. It's two. We don't need those guys and we don't need that picture. So I'm just going to get rid of those. Actually, those can be inner pages. So I'm going I'm to save them. See, I can't throw anything away. It's craziness. Okay. Um, let's just pull out four pages. This is a good one. I think we can use that. Um, this is a good one to use up multiple pages for sure. Okay, I'm going to grab my other glue stick because it's just easier to use. And we're just going to glue these together. And again, I'm just, I'm just gluing where there's writing because we're going to cut the rest off. So that one's at the ready. Let's do this one. Sorry if I'm, I have so much stuff here that I'm ending up being off camera, I feel like. Okay. All right. So that, those two pages are glued together and just line that up as close as I can. Okay. So then we are going to just, I'm going to put them all together to cut down the side of the text on both sides. on the bottom. Okay. Now, um, so what we're going to do is kind of decide our flap, which about there is good on our flap, I think. So there's our flap. Just going to get rid of those. There's our flap and we want our pocket to come up kind of under, under there. So then I'm just going to cut along here. Easy to do. And I might add paper to that and that could become another tag. But, um, and then I used my Martha Stewart corner punch on this, which made the big round corners, but it doesn't work anymore. I even took it back to Joann's and 
to see and they just replaced it with one that doesn't work well either. <laughs> so there you go. I'm back to my creative memories one that I've had for 30 years. Oh, and so round the corners. Then again, we'd ink up. I'm not going to take time doing that. You just glue around the three edges here, glue this on, and then um, and then Mod Podge over the top of it, and it makes it even more sturdy. You don't have to. You could leave it just like this, but there is another. Let's just let's just do a little bit. I don't I don't want to take the time, but it bugs me not to <laughs> not to kind of take you all the way. So let's just let's just ink this part a little bit and then we'll glue it in. Are you seeing okay? Good. All right, so we're just gonna give it a little glue down the three sides like that. And of course on all of these book page, it's like this is the basis of it and then you can um, you can decorate it as you will. For instance, maybe I have like, I think I've used all my little ones. But what I was thinking is, you could, here's one. You know, you could take a printable of some sort, whatever you want, and put it down here, put something up here, whatever you want to decorate it up. One of the, one of these little, um, little bits would go here really nicely. And these, um, this idea was from Sarah at the Mushroom Market on YouTube. Okay, so there's a little envelope. All right, let's move on, move on. Keep going on this book page adventure. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, this is one of my favorites. I just love this one. I don't know why. I just do. So we need two book pages. Okay. And we're going to fold one up, I don't know, to about there maybe. And then we're going to take this one and go inside and eyeball it because that's just how I roll. We're just going to kind of eyeball it and we're going to make the three pockets. And then if you glue around here, it's actually four pockets, which I think is kind of awesome. And then um, I, this is where I like to use these scrapbooking scissors and I just cut up the edge to give it a rough edge. Really rough. Look at that. Holy cow, Gail. Okay. I need to get a better grip on it, I think. Goodness. Okay. And then... I usually do the top. Actually, I'm gonna take off the title since the title's down below too. And down the side here. Okay. And then that just that just gives it a, a fun rough edge. Okay, and then um this is a sewing one too, so let's just quick like ink it up. Ink it up quick like. And then on this one, you can decorate this bottom edge, which I think we will do just because. Just because, and so then inking the top of each pocket
And then this one's quick as a jiffy because then you just sew around the three edges. Let's see, I need to be straight stitch again and here we go. If I can find my pedal, I kicked it out of the way. Okay. This is one of Patricia's pockets and if you go over to her channel, she has got a lot of videos on various ideas for using up book pages. So super helpful. It's kind of her thing, you know? Everybody kind of has their thing. I did the faux front envelopes. Patricia is the book page queen. <laughs> so, so there is that one. Super cute. Let's see what we might have for something fun to put on there. We already used that color. I have some that my granddaughter did in here too, and they're so cute. How about that one? That one's fun. Yeah, let's do that one. And just as easy as that, you've used up some scraps doing this little piece, and you've also used up book pages, a couple book pages. So there we go. There's that one. Super cute, huh? Okay, let's keep going because I'm running out of time. I am going to have to do a second one, I think, so that I can show you the... Um, because I really want to decorate those tags with you guys. So I guess we'll just do two videos today. That's okay. Okay, so this one, we need two book pages again. Yeah, that one's got a picture. Don't want that one. Okay. Now, this one. Once again, I'm going to put them together and cut with my scrapbooking scissors along the edge of the text. And the bottom and the top. Okay. And just because I'm a crazy woman, I'm going to keep these two because those are good stamping size for words. And the rest I'll throw away. Every once in a while I throw something away. <laughs> okay, so one piece. Oh, you know what? We need to, we need to glue this because the back piece is two pieces. Shoot. <laughs> I needed, I needed three pieces. Let's just do this. Let's grab this because I, I really need I want them to be the same size so I'm gonna cut around that one as you can tell I did not revisit how to make these <laughs> I'm winging it didn't rewatch Patricia's video, but once you've done them a few times, you kind of get the, kind of get the drift. Okay, here's the piece that I'm going to save. All right, now we're good. Let's just glue this together. I'm going to um, use my book glue on here so because I do want to get to the edges well I don't need to what am I thinking no I don't need to get to the edges because we're going to sew around this so I just need the middle kind of glued down okay so that's our back here and then the way you fold this pocket to to make 
make this pocket. It's a pocket up here, a pocket here. Let me get this close to the camera so you can see. It's a pocket here, a pocket here, and then you can slip a little tag with a, maybe with a tab or something on it right there. So, um, the way you fold that, let's, let's remember. <laughs> let's see if Gail can remember. Oh yeah. Okay. Oopsie. Do over. Okay. I'm only going to do, I'm only going to do the sides on the pocket, not the whole thing. That's right. I'm like, that is going to be a tiny pocket. Okay. So let's see. So if this one, we're going to go up. Where do we want to go? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So then this goes down and this one goes up. Okay, that's about right. And I, again, I'm just eyeballing. So I'm going to do that one down. This one's going to be up. And then we're going to fold that back. Like so. Okay, so down and up. And then this one, I won't do such a fancy one. I'll just do this one. We're just going to take a little bit out so that you can slip your tag in easily. Let me ink that so you can maybe see that better. I'll, um, I'll stand up to ink. So we folded this one down. This is the one we punched. So... There's that edge that you can can do, and then um, and then this one we folded sideways and up. So then you've got that little side pocket too. And um, and then what I do is first I sew across here. And then I put it on the back and no, no, <laughs> it's not what I did. Sorry. Starting over. So we're going to sew all the way around here and then we're going to glue this on. Let's do it because I was being an idiot. I'm usually a little more prepared than this, but it's like I just wanted to sit down and do some of this and wanted you guys to come along. So you're getting the unorganized version here today. Okay, so we're going to just catch that little edge right there. So I'm going to have to be careful because I don't want to catch the edge of the pocket. did it backwards. Okay. Sorry guys. We're going to start where the cutout is. No, we're going to start down here. We're going to start on this side. Sorry. Do you see that right on this side? And then we'll go around because otherwise I'm going to close my, close my pocket. Oh, I'm so flustered. <laughs> You're like, Gail, it's okay. I know you are, because you're sweet like that. And I'm like, oh. Okay, now is when I have to make sure I'm really kind of on the edge. Well, that was off the edge. So this one is going to be a total disaster, but that's all right. I think I can line it up and, yeah, we're okay. We're okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, with few false starts, we got her done. Okay. So there is our pocket. Let me show you this. So see, I, so we started here. 
around like this and I was careful not to catch this so I sewed up there okay then we're gonna just glue this on so it's a pocket on the top as well if you wanted to you could sew around the back part too just but I'm not gonna worry about that so I like to go one line of text up just so it's not sitting way on the bottom okay and there's that one and you can do a little layering on this pocket or whatever you want and then that just goes on your page and when you put it on your page you can glue around here and have a pocket here or you can glue around here and have a pocket here or you can glue around here and have a pocket here depending on your page <laughs> okay good lord i'm glad we're done with that one all right <laughs> okay uh that is okay okay let me let me remember this one i think this one takes three pages if i remember correctly and we're gonna glue stick this page again just gonna do the middle because we're gonna sew around the sides okay okay then I'm going to put the pages back together and cut them and I'm going to use my straight scissors this time off the heading too. I really do like the size of the Reader's Digest too because it's um, it's kind of the perfect size for uh, you know if you have a nine by six journal. Let me keep those and get rid of these. Okay. And then this one, we're going to make it, I don't know if I even had that in camera. We're going to make this one into a tag. So let me put that there. Oh, that, another thing falling out. <laughs> Since this journal was just for me, it's kind of a wreck. Okay, so we're going to do the tag cut. And this time we are going to just go like that okay oh I did it again okay this one has to be taken off just the sides so that we have that blank space at the top okay so we are going to fold this in half with the bottom of the page at the top and then I'm going to flip it over and turn it down so that the blank space is right at the top. Now for this one, let me ink it real quick. I just do them regular but then I know I wouldn't want to use them because they're not inked. that part well, as well. it's kind of funky it's got a little highlighted part right there so then you only have to go part way down on this one all right okay so what I'm going to do first is um, sew down this little flap so I'm just going to go really right along the edge, kind of. And on the bottom, too. You guys always tell me I do clear instructions. Not so much today. <laughs> 
not on my game for the clear instructions. Okay, and then we just put it down at the bottom and I am going to start on the bottom corner here. And we're just going to, whoop, the needle up here. Just going to sew around this. Make sure my pocket is straight. Gonna have to turn because it's a tag shape. Okay, so there's that one. So again, depending on how you put it on your page, there's this pocket here and you could go here or on the side or whatever. I love that one. And then you can punch a hole in it too, which I won't take time to do today. Where are we time-wise? Oh gosh, 10 minutes. This is going to be a two-parter. I can see that. Oh, okay. I love this envelope too. Let's, do I remember how to do it? Kind of. <laughs> Let's do that for our last for our last thing, and then we'll I'll, I'll start a new video. Okay, so let's see. There's that, and I need a full page. Okay, so. First things first, I know we're going to fold this down and I just try to get them at a right angle. If they're not totally together, I don't worry too much about it, but I'm going to try. Yeah, got it. Pretty close anyway. Okay, so we're going to do that. Got that. And then we're going to go up with this part. So that's going to be the part that tucks the flap in, right? Okay. And then we're just going to cut. Let's see, I tore that one, but I think what I'm going to do is cut with these scissors across the top of this one. And then we're just going to make it the right size to fit in here, which is about right here here. So we'll cut that across. And see that will be there. All right. Let's do some inking. So I want to ink across there for sure. And I want to ink this. My vintage photo is such a funky color. I don't know if you saw the video where I I re-inked it, but I re-inked it with walnut stain. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> oh, I'm just like, shoot. <laughs> Ruin my vintage photo. I just need to get a different... A different stamp pad of vintage photo I think I think it's beyond saving it's just this really weird color but I mean it's fine it's just when you want vintage photo it's not really vintage photo okay let's do the top here too and this one's just a gluey one so it's quick though so you could you could sew it if you wanted to I'm just gonna glue for today Okay, so we want to glue this in here, right? So I am going to glue both sides here. Okay. I 
like that ish <laughs> get it on there straight um and then we're gonna glue up this side here and this side here and those go up like that then we're gonna glue down the flap like that now if you wanted to you could put that in the sewing machine now and go all the way around here but then that just flops in there isn't that a cool one really quick to do too so let's see where are we time wise we're just about there i'm gonna do that i'm just gonna Actually, I better not. I'll let it dry for a little bit first because otherwise I'm going to get my needle all gunky. Okay, so let's see what else we have to do. And then I'll decide what, okay, this, there's, there's lots of different corners. Maybe we'll do some corners next time. There's this one, which is a, a variation so we could do that. Okay, and then, yeah. And then maybe, yep. Then we'll, um, then what we'll do is decorate tags a little bit for the golden books. Okay, so I'm going to turn this off and this will be part one. And then we'll do part two in a minute. Thanks, everyone. See you next time. Bye-bye.